Hi, my name's Gabe, and I have an antenna problem. I've been filling my garage with old surplus satellite dish hardware for the last few years, and I finally decided to do something about it. What did I do? I went to an auction, and I ended up picking up even more satellite stuff. All right, so the car is about half full. Big microwave antenna, we've got brackets, we've got more brackets, we've got little dishes, we've got a whole stack of small dish reflectors here, we've got more brackets, we've got about a thousand of these things. So this pallet needs to fit in that car somehow. And then there's actually a third pallet in the back, at least a third pallet, there might be more. I figured I'd be smart and bid $5 on each pallet and that way I'll probably win one pallet and I won all the pallets. Usually I don't care about these little baby offset dishes, but these are kind of cool. They actually have a professional cantenna. It's uh, basically the old Pringles can, but in uh, official wireless ISP form. All right, car is loaded with trip one. So that's pretty darn full on top and inside. I don't think I can get, I don't think I can get any more stuff in this car on this trip. So we are definitely going to have to make another trip. I did pretty well though. On the first couple pallets, I got basically most of it. I've got one more dish here that wouldn't fit. So how much did all this cost? With the bid price, after all the auction fees, the taxes, all the extra fees, about $50. So I'm probably spending more in gas getting this back and forth to my house than I did on the stuff. Whether that's a good idea, I don't know. All right, it's a new day, car is empty, and I have to pick up another pallet full of stuff. So I get those in the car, and then uh, I still have that one that I couldn't fit in there yesterday. Well, the car is starting to get full, but the auction company found a bunch more stuff that didn't get bids, so I got this stuff too. Um, I don't know what it is, but uh, I can do something with this. So most of the antennas that I picked up here are from something called a wireless internet service provider, or WISP, and these are pretty common out in the countryside. I actually had to drive about an hour and a half out to the middle of nowhere to pick these up from the auction. Now I have to drive an hour and a half back, but these would show up on farmhouses, on rural properties where you cannot get any other wireless internet or even wired internet. You can't get fiber, you can't get DSL, you can't get cable. You could get satellite internet like HughesNet or uh, the old Starband system, but that is really expensive. So an alternative would be slap one of these dishes on your roof, especially the little ones that look like a direct TV or dish network dish. Um, those would be the end user subscriber terminal antennas. And then the bigger ones I have would normally live somewhere like this on a big rural antenna. You can see a few here. There are some smaller white microwave antennas down low. Up higher on the tower, the big gray microwave antennas are probably more for long distance phone, internet backhaul stuff between towers, between rural communities like this and more urban areas that have access to fiber, that have access to broadband internet. So probably the big stuff up there is more of your old AT&T, CenturyLink, Quest phone service. Now these are different from cell phones, 4G, 5G. That's actually uh, across the street here. I can kind of see it, the sun's washing it out, but there's a cell phone tower and that uses more of those rectangular sector antennas. So I think I picked up a few of those as well. So it's possible this company also provided uh, 4G, but I know less about that. So I don't really know what I got in that uh, department. All right, I'm back home and still organizing and inventorying all this stuff. So I have four of the big dishes here. I, I say big, they're small compared to my other ones. These are about 34 inches in diameter. These medium sized ones are about 25 inch diameter. I have five of those. And then these little guys are about 18 inches in diameter. And I have a few of those. And then I have quite a few of these offset dishes that I don't really like as much. I don't know, there's just something about these. They don't, they don't look as cool as that. Um, some of these have the cantenna on here. These are kind of fun. They have both a vertical and horizontal feed inside. Um, no radio equipment, just the feeds and then the antenna wires. And we've got a couple styles of dish here. We have kind of the horizontal style and the vertical style. These big ones also have two inputs. It looks like in antenna connectors. So probably horizontal and vertical. You can look at the model number here. And that's what those are. Oh, I also ended up with these panel antennas. So they kind of threw these in at the end of the auction. These are also Wi-Fi. They're not LTE. They're actually um, 
The big ones here are both 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz. The little ones are just 2.4 gigahertz. We've got some mounting brackets and whatnot for those. So I'm still trying to make space for all those in the garage. Um, I got rid of some stuff over there, so we'll probably pile some more up there. And then, uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't like these. I might just give these away to a scrapper or if somebody wants them that's local, they're too small to really be useful for that much. They're smaller even than a traditional rooftop KU band satellite dish. Yeah, these are about 22 inches, so they're really too small to do a whole lot with. Some of them are in rough shape too. They've got big dings and dents and cracks. I, some of these have probably fallen off of a rooftop. So these little ones, the subscriber terminals, or I guess the client receiver, these are kind of interesting. There are three parts. Yeah, there we go, three parts. We've got the reflector, we've got a bracket, and we've got this radio. I looked at these briefly with a friend who does networking, and I actually gave him a bunch of them because he's got more use than I do, but I, I kept a few of these, and I might end up using them for something. We might end up putting a bunch of them out at Sandland if we ever do a big wireless network out there. Some of these are 2.4 gigahertz, and some of them are 5 gigahertz, and they're uh, power over Ethernet. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'll do a teardown on these just because I'm kind of curious what's in here. If we pop this open, is it a reflector? Is it a patch antenna? Is it, what does this have inside? So yeah, uh, that might be a future video where we break this open and see what makes it tick. These little 18 inch dishes are also pretty small for anything satellite related. They're a good size for Wi-Fi, but yeah, I don't know if they're useful for too much other than their original purpose. The mounting hardware on some of these big dishes is pretty great too. Like these rings, I think could support a really big dish maybe even one of the bigger dishes that we got from uh, CCERA up in Canada. So this mounting bracket here that would go onto a pole or a tower, that's really nice. Yeah, this there's some good stuff here. Um, not necessarily super worth a lot of money, but definitely worth a bit for repurposing and reusing. So there we go, a garage full of even more junk. I really don't know what I'm gonna do with all this. The big dishes, yeah, I think I could use those for GOES satellites. The Medium dishes may be useful for L-band satellites, for low Earth orbit weather satellites. Um, the sector antennas, panel antennas, not 100% sure. Maybe I can do something interesting with Wi-Fi on those. Kind of remains to be seen. I guess I'm just going to be hoarding these for a while. We'll probably have to reorganize them. The whole garage is full of junk as usual, and uh, it really could use a good organization, but that's going to be a project for another day. So I guess stay tuned to see what I end up doing with all of this microwave antenna hardware, or hopefully at least some of it. If anyone out there has ideas, please let me know in the comments. And you know what? If you're interested in some of this stuff, let me know as well. I can't really ship it because it's so big and kludgy. Uh, something like this would be a couple hundred dollars just in shipping. I've, I've tried to ship stuff this size and it's just, it costs a fortune these days. If you are local in the Twin Cities and you are interested in some microwave antenna hardware. I'm, I'm probably gonna keep the biggest ones or at least most of the biggest ones, but some of the mid-sized dishes are potentially up for grabs. At least uh, if you see this video early, if you see it later, maybe some of them have gone already. Just send me an email and we can talk about it. You can check out my other satellite videos to see things I've done with similar hardware, like the rotor here with a five gigahertz dish. I use that for tracking low earth orbit weather satellites. Thanks to everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.